Here it is. Uh oh, look out, y'all. It's Wednesday. We are here for our second lower body workout of the day. It's going to be pretty squat dominant today. We are going to get your quads working hard. We're going to give those calves a little bit of a shakedown. And we'll, of course, finish with some pretty fun conditioning because that's just how we do it here. So to get started today for our warm up, I've got a couple of movements for you. We'll do three rounds, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I love this format. It's so quick and easy to get started. So for your warm up today, you're going to need a step. It does not need to be this low. If you've got something like knee height, that's probably better. I'm working with the equipment I've got up here today. You are also going to need a lighter weight, like a, gobble, uh, sorry, a kettlebell or a dumbbell. And we're going to be on the floor. So movement number one today is step ups. Nothing fancy, just up on your step, back down, switch legs. Up, up, down, down, like so. Hold on, something's going on with my view. Switch to active speaker. There we go. All right, so once we've done 30 seconds of step ups, we're going to move into 30 seconds of goblet squats. So, we are going to take a weight and hold it in our chest. If you have a kettlebell, you want to hold it upside down. If you have a dumbbell, you want to hold it by the end. In a normal squat stand, so feet aren't very super wide, we're going to come down nice and low, keeping our shoulders back, taking our time. Think about a goblet squat is when we hold the weight on our front. We don't want to let it pull us forward. See, we don't want to tip. There's no hinge in our hip. When we're coming down, we want to instead keep our chest high, keep our back straight, come down nice and low, and the kettlebell continues to face the ceiling, just like so. Then, for our final trick today, we're going to do monster walks. So for this movement, we're going to come down into a little bend, so I want a squat stands again. I want you to think about pushing your bum backwards, tipping your body forward, keeping a bit of bend in your legs, we take two inch steps at a time, like so, pushing through your heels, pushing your foot sideways. So just little steps, I want you to take 10 steps in one direction, then we'll go back, just like so. Do a warm up with glutes for us without making us jump around. So, let me get my timer started, as I said, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between. We'll do everything three times through. So starting off, with your favorite step ups. Come down to the beginning. We'll get on it in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Up, up, down, switch legs every time. We're just getting it started here. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. So we don't want to keep legs forward or anything like that. I want to lift the chest like we need it. Good. If you need to, you can always speed it up. You want to make sure we're working. Good. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Couple of squats are next, so grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Lift the chest, normal squat stance. Three, two, one, let's go. Coming down nice and low. Don't need to be in a rush on the way down. Don't need to go too slow either. This is just the warm up. As we come up, we want to push the floor away from you. Let's make sure all those squat muscles are ready to work today. Good. Make sure your knees are pushing out over your toes. We don't want a narrow stance. So Move those feet wide. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Put your weight down. Monster walks are next. A reminder. Feet about squat distance apart, toes point straight forward. Two, one, let's go. Let's come halfway down into a squat. Stick your bum back behind you. Steps should be only two inches at a time. Our feet do not get narrower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna take lots of little steps. Push the side of your foot out. Keep your heels planted. We'll finish in three, two, one, and rest. Back to the top. We're into our step ups. 30 seconds. I'm going to run mine now. You get warmed up. Two, one, let's go. Up tall. Make sure your 
even though it's time to action. We don't want any weight here. We're just trying to get organized. Organized, solid. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Go back to our goblet squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Coming down, keeping your goblet up to the ceiling. No spilling. As low as you can, make sure you push your whole foot in the floor. Stand up. Don't be on your toes. Not in your heels. Making sure our knees are pushing out on the way down and on the way up. Ten seconds to go. Woo up nice and tall. I know it's a long way to travel. I'm five foot eleven. I get it. Here we go. Rest. Okay, monster walk to next. Go this way this time. So notice my feet are not close together. Half bent, sticking my butt out, and let's go. Lots of little steps. You want to feel this in our glutes? So think about pushing your leading foot away from you. It's just fighting to get out of that squat stance. You gotta catch back up to it. Good job. We got 10 seconds left. Good. We'll be done in five, four, three, two, one. Rest. We got one more round. Let's get back to those step ups. Make sure you're getting yourself nice and warm. Four, three, two, one. Here it is. Up, up, down, down. Try to get a nice rhythm. Run it. Make sure you lift nice and tall. Not well folded up, remember. Not on our toes. We don't want our toes off the bench. We're going to get half the power there. Fall through goes on. Standing up straight at the top. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Back to our goblet squats. Last time through. Get those back straight, chest lifted. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get it. Coming down, pushing the knees apart. Don't be afraid to check that form. Take a look down, see what's happening. Check in with your body, what's happening in your feet. How are your knees? Is your core engaged? If your back's hurting, you need to switch something. Play around with it. I don't tell you that just to be annoying. We need to get my nice strong cords. This is where it happens. Two, one, and rest. Good job. What are we doing now? Oh, yes, yeah, monster walks. Here we go. In our little squat stance. Let's go. I'm leaning forward here. I'm pushing my hips backwards behind me. I'm not letting my feet get close together. They're outside my shoulders. Not too far. My feet are pointing straight forward. Little steps, two inches at a time. Control it, control it. Good. If you have a breathing bin, you can always put this around your ankles to make it harder. Two, one, and rest. We are officially warmed up. Get down. Please have some water. You enjoy your freedom. I'm about to tell you some really fun stuff. All right, I am jazzed. I haven't had a big day like this in a minute. I'm excited to see where we are. So today, we have three movements. We're going to repeat them through four times. We finish every round with a one minute rest. This is our long round, so make sure you've got some music. Make sure you've got some water. Make sure you've brought some good mental energy. It might be early, but that doesn't mean we're here to mess around. Our three movements today are hack squats, static lunges, and frog thrusters. For this, we need some equipment. So, we need something that we can put our heels up onto that is about an inch off the ground. I'm going to use the base of my step. I'm going to put my heels up on here, about an inch off the floor. For a half squat, we are having a narrow squat stance. Your feet are under our hips. We're also going to be driving our knees forward. For this high squat today, a three second negative, we're going to hold the weight at our chest. We're going to drive our knees and our hips forward. 
So we're moving like we're sliding your back down the wall. So if you did a normal squat stance, your feet would be wider and you would be pushing your bum back and tipping forward. We're not doing that, excuse me. If we did that, we'd look like this at the bottom. I want you to look like this. Really different, really makes those quads good. If you cannot find something to put your heels up on, you're gonna do a normal squat today, but you are still going to bring your feet a bit more narrow, drive your knees a little bit more forward, but not perfectly forward, just so we don't have some internal rotation there. So we're gonna do 10 of those, three seconds down, holding the weight. Oh, you're explosive on the way up. Then once we finish that, we're going to move into static lunges. For a static lunge, you need a dumbbell in each hand, a one at your chest. We come into our lunge position, and from here, we're going to drop straight down, hit our knee to the floor, coming back up. So we're not moving our feet at all. We are instead focusing on moving through the lunge without moving those feet. So when you do this, Make sure we are really focusing on getting into a nice stance to begin with. We also want to make sure our hips stay facing forward. As we come down, we don't want to turn in. We don't want to let our back foot turn out. I'm going to say it over and over again. We're going to make sure our feet are both pointing in the same direction. Your hips are going to point that way too. I'll make sure we work real hard. Now we're going to come down onto the floor for our final movement. We're doing front thrusters. This is like a hip thruster, except we put our feet together when we're down on the floor. Going on here. So putting our feet together, we are going to make sure our shoulders are pressed in the ground from here. We're going to squeeze our glutes, push our hips up to the ceiling. We have up and down. You can put a weight on your hip if you want to. After Monday's glute session, I don't want you to feel this in quite the same place, a little bit more internal on the back side of your body there. Let me run. So I gotta turn the fan on. I need to make sure my space is organized. And then we're on four times two. One minute of work, oh sorry, one minute of rest. Let me try that again. Four times two, we finish every round with a minute of rest. And we just get going. It's 10 pack squats, eight, static lunges on each leg, and then 12 to 15 front thrusters. You're with me. We're gonna get going here. Time to get this high started. Grab whatever weight you're using for your hack squat. We'll start in five, four, three, two, and one. Feet narrow, you straight forward. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, good. Really have to think about driving the hips forward. Remember, we're not trying to do a normal squat. Drive the knees forward. Feel it in your lower abdomen. And you keep that pelvic rotation. Big push through the toes and the heels to come up. But we should feel this mostly in our quads, but all through the front of our legs. Woo! Eight. Shoulders back, four on. Nine. And 10. Good. When you're done, we're going to into our static lunges. Grab your weights. We're going to put one foot forward, one foot back, feet facing the same direction. Weights and hands, shoulders back. Let's go down. Three, two, one. Press. Pressing through that front foot. Good. Making sure we aren't twisting. Because we're not moving our feet, it gives us more time to think about the rest of our body. We made it extra spicy for you today. I hope you're ready for a nice big sub. Woo! So we seven for me. And eight. When you're done, switch legs. You go this way so we can talk about four, three, two, one. Don't be afraid to reposition your feet. Pull yourself up nice and tall. At the bottom, we are coming down so our knees are at right angles. Woo! The pull work today. Three, two, one. Up. Three, two, one. Up. Three, two, one. So you've done eight. Good. When you have finished, bring yourself down onto the floor. We're moving into 
legs in front flexes. There's a one way to do the hips. Feet it together, nice and close to your hips. Here we go. We're going to squeeze and release. Squeeze and back down. Core is strong. We turn one out back to feel this. Push the feet into the floor. Yes, it's the sides of your feet. That's okay. Good. Eight. Maybe go for 15. It's round one. 10. Good. Feel equal squeeze on both sides. Hips as high as they go. Really want to feel it. On the top of the leg, the bottom of your foot. Squeezing that together, but it's more internal. More inside your sit bones. Good job. I think that's 15. Honestly, I'm not sure anymore. Counting is so hard. We're taking a one minute rest here. So it's down in 55 seconds. Now we know what we're doing. We can really go for it next time. Heavier for my here for my goblet squat. I mean my hack squat. Hmm. And we have 25 or 53. We'll improvise. 30 seconds till we do our next round. Make sure you're ready for action. And then make my shoe. All right, here we go. 20 seconds. Come on, shoe. All right, we'll go as soon as my shoe decides it's ready to cooperate. All right, 10 seconds. Here we go. Grab whatever weight you're using. Let's get our feet up on our one inch lift. We're going five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go knee press forward. Three, two, one. Look, feel your quad. Three. Two, one. Hips are pushing forward. Open up. Really different than a normal squat. Do you not try and do a normal squat? That's not what we're about. We are trying to stay as upright as possible. Like we're sliding our back down the wall. Lifting the chest. This is such a tricky move, but the better you get it in, the stronger your core is going to be, the more powerful those legs become. Ooh, two more. Three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh, tough. Well, all right. Let's get into it. Here we go. Static lunges. Nice long stand. Shoulders back. Three, two, one. I want to go a little faster here so we're not in the strength like that all day. One, two, hit. Let's keep those shoulders back, please. Push through that front leg and the back foot to stand up. This will be six. Woo! Seven. And eight. Switching legs. Let's try this way. Here we go. One, two, and press. One, two, press. One, two, Good, up tall, shoulders back. I know I have fun about what's happening in your core and your shoulders and your back a lot. I know this is a movement for your legs. But you will do your legs a big favor if your whole body is working together. It's gonna be a lot easier to continue to build your strength. Come on down on the floor for me into our front thrusters now. So, we go together. Nice and close to your hips. Okay. Weight over your hips. Do that every time. Here we go. 12 to 15. Up, pause, back. Up, pause, back. Up, pause, back. Woo! Really feeling the inside of the glute and the upper thigh. Good job. Try to grab those hips as high as possible. We don't want to still have a bend here. We want that to be nice and straight. From the knees through the hips, down to your shoulders. Woo! Good. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> Holding this weight. 13, 14, and 15. Good job. Rest. One minute, and we'll do it all again. All right. 
This is quite a lunge. By the end of this, every time, we're hitting our whole leg. Our quads get that work in the high squat. In our static, we're switching it up from behind. And quad, then the other leg is forward. Back quad, as well as the glute in the back. And then we finish with internal glute. 30 seconds and we'll do it again. Ladies. Woo, I'm sweating. I hope you are too. This is quite, quite the adventure. I'm going to switch where my step is. We've got a little under 15 seconds here. I want to really talk to you about what this looks like. On the half squats. Here we go all together. In five, four, three, two, and one. My feet are narrow, my weight is at my chest. Let's come down. Three, two, one, look. Make those knees drive forward. Pull your upper body backwards. Woo. Not pulling it backwards per se, but just compared to a normal squat, your chest is a lot more over the top of your hips than usual. Think about having to keep your weight that you're holding directly above your feet. You cannot lean forward. Woo. You don't want to curl that back. So instead, our core lifts our body tall, our knees right forward, our quads work hard to bring us back up again. Ooh, we'll take it up two more. Three, two, one. Oh, it's getting harder. Three, two, one. When you're done, we're moving into our static lunge. You can do my right leg first, just for difference. We're going to drop it down, nice long stands. Here it is. Coming down, big press. Make sure you press through your back toe as well as through your whole front foot. Still up tall. Make sure both feet are pointing in the same direction. Look back, check that back foot. Make sure you're not turning your leg out like a ballerina. This is not a dance. Oh my god, I mean, my god. Once you've done eight, switching sides. Good. That control is the way your good work is happening. Here it is. Come down. Three. Hold on, we're going to take two seconds on the negative. Two. One tap. Boom. Two. One tap. The back knee hit. Go sweat pouring down my forehead. Woo! That's what I want, baby. Two more here. Big press, your both feet come up. Once we're ready, coming down onto the floor for our frog thrusters. I'm trying to persuade this time so I run into visual issues. Feet are together, weight is over our hips. Here we go. Up, one, two. Up, one, two. And 15. Squeeze your bum. Think about that space at the top of your leg. And the bottom of your butt, squeezing together. Good. <laughs> oh my god, what are you today? You can only imagine. It should be eight. One, two. Nine. One, two. Gotta do at least twelve. You're counting for you. Push all the way. And hit. Good. When you've done 15, take a break. You got one minute, and then we'll do it one more time. This one's really ending today. I love that. Woo. Can we get up early? If we dedicate the time to do this, damn it, we should really be getting something out of it. Boy, are we. <laughs> sweaty, sweaty. Thirty seconds. Last time through. This will be the hardest. You should be tired. Hopefully your quads are feeling quite the burn. You want to feel it all up in there. We're starting in about ten seconds. Make sure you've got whatever weight you're using. Once it's on, baby, it's on. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. One, narrow feet, heels up, knees right forward, come on down. Two, 
One breath. Have a look at what's happening in your lower body. You want to drive those knees forward. You don't want our knees coming towards each other. Directly forward. Our hips follow. Our chest stays upright. Big power. Come up. Two. One. Up. Three. Two. One. Smash. Woo! Take it all the way. We're going to do ten. Try not to lean to the side or let those knees knock around. Ah! So much work. All right. That is. I need to focus on my feet. So I'm going to drop my weight. Do the work here. Come on down. One, two, press. One, two, press. Make sure you're not coming forward like this. This is not a split squat. This is a static lunge. I know they look pretty similar, but it's quite different. One, two, press. Straight down with your hips. Straight back up. Hips aren't going anywhere in space. Good. Woo! No weight for that time. I'm not going to Gosh darn it. Let's switch feet. Let's go. One, two, press. One, two, good. Woo, baby. Core is working. Let's make sure those hips are staying square. You do not want to be rolling around. It seems like not that much in comparison to 10. Until you're at about rep six, and you're like, good lord, how is there still more to go? Woo! Good job. When you're done, come on down on the floor. You can do this with or without weight, and I'm going to do mine without because I'm hot. Let's go. We've got 15 reps. Let's hit it. Up. One, two. Woo! If you need to focus on form, you're always welcome to drop the weights, but as soon as you feel confident with it, you're allowed to build back up again. You're not stuck with no weight forever. You're here to develop. Push yourself. Give it a shot if you hate it, if it hurts. In a bad way, we stop. If you hate it, it's challenging, but it's not bad for you. I want to encourage you. Let's get out of our comfort zone. Get into our workout. Good, last one for me when you're done. Take a nice deep breath. Woo. Say hello to those muscles. I work so hard for you. Thank you, legs. All right. I need a second just to organize myself. Let's get this out of the way. Sorry. That's round one. First 15 minutes. Absolute leg smashing. For our next set of movements, more legs for you. Don't worry. It's not over yet. So, for this movement today, you're going to need a chair or a bench, something to be sturdy. I grabbed this, but it's very tricky to move as well. So, I'm just going to grab something else. Bear with me. I'm going to get my bus chair. Much better for me. So, we're really looking for something around knee height. So, this is much better. It's going to be a little rickety sometimes, but that's okay. We're going to make the most of it. So, today, you have three movements in strength two Bulgarian split squats, they are single leg box squats, and they are squat to half raise. I think you probably heard the word squat there three times, but that's not a joke. We had a big good day last week, I mean on Monday. We're going to hit the front of these legs now. So, let me tell you about these movements. For movement number one, Bulgarian split squat. We're going to put our back foot up on our bench. We need a nice long stance from here. We're standing up tall at the top as we come down, trying to drop our knee to the floor, coming back up with very unsteady. We're going to do eight on each leg. So as soon as you finish, you're going to switch over. Some things we want to make sure we do. Do not stand really close to your bench and do this, because you're not going to get any benefit and it's just going to feel awkward. We need a longer stance so that at the bottom, when our toe is up, you can 
So if you've got front heel on the floor, your front heel is where your power comes from. If you're up on your toe at the bottom, you are going to really hate it. <laughs> if you're up the other, probably probably fine with this one. Is that as you're coming down, you get a really big stretch in your back quad. If you are feeling that, I want you to come down as low as you can, but I need you to remember, like without that really hurting, but I need you to remember, you're probably putting a lot of weight in your back leg. This is a movement for your front leg. So really try and let your weight be more forward than back, and that's going to help relieve some of that tension. We'll play around with that. So then, we're going to move into single leg box squats. Yes, you have me right, more squats. So, for a single leg box squat, you want one foot off the floor, we're going to sit down onto our chair, and push you back up again. So, nice and slow down, big power to come back up. When we've done our eight, we switch legs, and so we're going to try not to fall. So, we don't want to do this. Like, it's not about momentum, it's not about falling, this movement is about control. It's a control freak, I love this. So, we are making sure that we come down, sit, going as slow as we can when we come up. Big power through that leg on the floor, core brace straight up. There's a lot of work for the back of your butt, and a lot of work for your core. There's a theme today, have you noticed? Core back and lower body work. Anyway, our last movement today is squat to calf brace. We're going to hold the weight at our chest, come down into our sweat, and we come up, we come up onto our toes. So here at the top, we're squeezing our calf muscles all in here. We're going to take a pause and come back down. Three, two, one, big push. Actually, I want to do 15, so let's do a two second negative. So one, two, press to the calves, pause. One, two, press to the calves, pause. One thing I will say with this movement, and this is a fault I fall into quite a lot. As you come up, don't be on the outside of your feet. You want your all five toes and the ball of your foot to press into the floor, not up like so. You know what I mean? Press that whole foot. We'll talk about it. It'll be awesome. I'm doing this firstly without weight today because the balance is going to be hard enough. We do all three movements. We rest for about 45 seconds. We repeat three times total. We are starting that seriously crazy session in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get that back foot up. And away we go. Coming down slowly. Big power to come up. Dropping our back knee down. Big power through the front leg. So I'm not leaning forward in here. I'm trying to stay upright, sitting back into it, keeping my knees. Working hard, this is so unstable. Three, two, one, negative. Three, two, one. Woo. When you've done eight, switching sides. Oh man, I'm gonna hold on to the chair with my foot. Here we go. Three, two, one, power. Good. What's going on? Make sure that front foot's a nice long way ahead. You don't want to lean forward, you're trying to stay upright. Bring your front foot forward further if you're falling forward. Five, three, two, one, six, three, two, one, seven, three, two, one, and that's eight. Woo! Looks good. When you're done, let's move into our box squats. Down with control. Down. One, two, press. One, two, press. One, two, press. One, two, press. All the legs are sore today. One, two, press. If you're feeling like you're falling, put the heel of your other leg on the ground for a little bit more stability. Good, when you're done, switch legs. You don't want to go too slow here. Good. One, two, press. Don't let your knees tip in. Sitting back and down, driving through the foot to stand up. One, two, five. Good. One, two, six. Good. One, two, seven. And one, two, eight. And then down, we're into our squat to calf raise. Let's go. We're 
Coming down. Two seconds negative. Coming down. One, two, up, foot. One, two, up, foot. One, two, up, good. One, two, up, good. Go for 12. And the pulse and weight. One, two, up, foot. One, two, up, foot. One, two, up, 12 to 15. Two, up. Woo! It's getting a little more in control for me as I go. One, two, up. Once you've done those 12, take a break. Looks really nice. All right. It's taking quite a long time to get through, and I want to move a little bit faster, so I'm going to switch it up this time. We're still going to do our Bulgarian split squats. We still hate them, they still need to get done. We're going to skip those box squats. We come straight into our sweaty calf raise. And then our final movement instead is going to be a core movement. So you can keep moving so your legs don't fall off. So I'll tell you about that when we get there. We're going to start our next round, starting with Bulgarian split squats in five, four, three. Two and one. Let's go. Nice long stance before we go anywhere. There it is. That looks better. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two. Wait. Get the front leg. Push in that front leg. Sit into that front leg. When you've done eight, switching sides. Three set, here we go. One, two, good. One, two, good. Woo! Good work. Lifting. Woo, bouncing. It's hard to look around in this movement. Fix my form. Good. One, two, seven. One, two, eight. Awesome, when you're done. We're going to move into our squat to calf raise. Grab those weights for me. Squat to calf raise, or you can do your back squats. Here we go. One, two, up, pause. One, two, up. Good. Really think about how we're through the toes. Up top. Low quads, big quad day today. Woo. One, two, go for 12. We're skipping the box squats. We're going to move onto the floor. The core work after. One, two, and up. We'll start the next one all together. We're going to hit a plank for 30 seconds to finish this round. Give our legs a chance to recover. Come down and do it with me. We'll start in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. 30 second plank. Brace the core, tuck the tail, drop those shoulders. You don't want to be shrugging. Shoulders are away from that hip. We're pushing through our toes. We're squeezing our bum. We're already halfway through. Woo! Try to go slower. In the plank, it's proven. Seven seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to plank with my glasses on. The sweat comes down my head and it looks like a petri dish. Disgusting. So if you're feeling like I'm feeling right now, there should be quite a lot of uh, muscle tightness in our quads, that's still going to continue. So, we're not quite done yet. I'm going to fall over if I do this again. I'm going to change my apparatus. It's just to finish me. So, for my last time through on the Bulgarian split squat, I'm going to put my back foot up on here. 
but there's a little bit less challenging. I will hold weight. We just got our last round in 10 seconds. Let's get ready to go. We got 10 reps. We'll start in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it. Down one, two, press. One, two, all that work in one leg. Make it happen. Ooh, this weight's so heavy. <laughs> Five. One, two, six. One, two, seven. Come on, leg. One, two, and eight. Good job. When you've done your eight, we're switching legs. I know it's been easy. You can do it. Woo! One, two, up. One, two, two, one, two, three, woo! Cross the arms, shoulders back. It powers through that front leg to stand up. You are, come on. Nice, straight up. That's quite the work. Okay, can we finish split squats? Going to squat to half raise. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Going down, up, pause. Oh, that was a fail. And then again. Whew. One, two, up. Oh, no, my waist can't get back up. Oh, that's better. Make sure those knees aren't caving in. Especially at the top. We got 12 today. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Pull up to be. Eleven. And 12. When you're done. Come down to the floor, come to that up plank in 10 seconds. Come into position. We'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Hit it. 30 seconds here. Again, make sure. We're going to think about what's happening with our whole body. Shoulders are over our elbows. Legs are straight. Tail is tucked, core is braced. Pushing our arms into the floor, already halfway through. Woo! Squeeze your bum, point your toes a little, straighten your back. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Oh, you guys, that was me. <laughs> Good job. I have sweat in my eyes. This is why I don't wear makeup when I work out. I used to. There's just too many panda eye moments. It wasn't cute. So, thank you for assisting through that one. Thanks for being so flexible. I'm going to take a sip of water, and I'll tell you about conditioning. She's a doozy. All right. For well, conditioning today, we need a set of dumbbells, and if you've got it, a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, we need something that's nice and heavy like one. So one heavy dumbbell, a tin of paint, a big rock, whatever you got going on. So for this workout, we are going to run the clock for 11 minutes. In this time, your goal is to get through five movements as many times as possible. Those movements are 25 kettlebell swings, 20 dumbbell snatches, 15 jump squats, 10 bicycle punches on each side, and then five lady makers. A lady maker is a way better name for a man maker. So let me show you what those movements are. We're starting off today with those kettlebell swings. Before this movement, this is a movement for your hips after all the quad work we've done. Do not try and tackle this like a squat. We are not doing this with our legs. We are doing this with our legs. Hips to top backwards and forward. 
When we do this movement, we are thrusting our hips, catapult that way up, bring it up in line with our shoulders. When you've done 25 rows, you are going to do 20 snatches. So you're going to take one dumbbell, you're going to make our feet nice and wide. I don't know why I'm turning around over our So, for this movement, again, it's a bit more sweaty, but it's a lot more depth into the back. So, for this movement, we're going to drop our hips back, tap the floor with our dumbbell, we're going to drive our hips forward, pull out tall, bring our weight up above our head. You're going to do 10 on each side for a total of 20. Then, this is where I decided to be mean today, I'm going to do 15 jump squats. After all of that quad work we did, this will be harder than usual. If you already hated these and you'll hate them even more, that's okay. We're making quads today. So, quad squat. Give it a crap. So, from here, what we're going to do, come down nice and wide. Jump, making sure we're leaving the ground every time, 15 times through. I expect for most of us, 15 in a row would be impossible. Break it up. Try and do five rounds, or three rounds of five. Maybe five rounds of three is what you've got today. It's okay. You won't die. Then we're going to come down onto the floor. We're going to do some bicycle crunches. For a bicycle crunch, I want you to push your lower back into the floor. That is foundational. While that stays there, we're going to be pumping our legs backwards and forwards. So we drive our knee up towards our face, and we point our toe and push it away. Kind of like you're riding a bike. So it's a, you can do it like this if you want to. I just find that hard to mobilize. With your arms, we're going to be twisting, have our torso, so that we can tap our opposite elbow to knee, like so. It's nice and quick, but we're not Busting around. The last movement today is man makers or lady makers, as I rather call them. This is a push up and then it is a row on each arm. You can do this with or without weight. My challenge to you is to do it with weight. So for this movement, we are doing push up, we row, and we row. Some hot tips here put your feet further apart. If you need to, put your knees down for your push up. But we need to come back up for the row. Then from here, brace your core, isolate the shoulder. We haven't done a lot of arm stuff today, so that should be good. Anyway, we're going to start now. We'll never get this done, so it's time to get started. 25 kettlebell swings. We're going to do this for 11 minutes. And then we'll call it a day. Go through as many times as you can. We'll go here in five, four. Three, two, one, let's go. 25 kettlebell swings. Two. Whew. Push those heels in the floor. Squeeze your butt, trust your forward. Eight. Nine. Woo! One. Two. Six. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, use those hips. Heels are staying on the floor. When you're done, it's 20 dumbbell snatches, 10 on each side. Here we go. You can break it up, what you like. Use those legs. Up to 20 snatches, it's 15. Jump squats, air squats if you're not jumping. Oh, oh I need to leave a breath this decision. Come on, legs. We can do it. Twelve. Oh, as you've done those jump squats, it's 
and bicycle crunches on each side. Two minutes gone. All right, lady makers. Here it is. Two breaths for every push up, and you're done. Back to the top. We're coming up to the three minute mark here. Truth, jump squats. We're at four and a half minutes here. We're going for 11. It's a marathon, not a sprint.
Jump squats again. All right, minute 10. Oh, it's not too high, I need you. One minute.